Why hello and uh, welcome to the ham radio shack of KA4PNV. Today we're going to be uh, talking about uh, the, uh, the 10 meter uh, F, uh, the 10 meter uh, CW beacons that they have uh, on uh, on 10 meters uh, now it's a CW beacon that runs from uh, 28 uh, 200 to uh, to 28 300 uh, uh, that's where you'll find most uh, most of the uh, most of the beacons at uh, on uh, uh, on 10 meters I'm, I'm experimenting with them here myself and see uh, to see how it's it's going to be uh, how it's going to go uh, here with 10 meter here with these 10 meter CW beacons. Uh, some people say there's not enough of them on 10 meters, and some people say there's too many. I don't. I'm just getting into it myself. I have no opinion so far. The the rig I'm using here for uh, for the CW beacons is a uh, President. HR 2510 uh, with the uh, with the I believe it's got the unit the unit in PLL in it and it's uh, set up here for the 10 meter beacon it's running about 10 watts I uh, run it sometimes five sometimes 10 watts but no more than uh, than uh, than 10 watts uh, and. Uh, uh, we're going to be taking a look at it here in a minute as it's uh, as it trans uh, as it transmits. And I have the way I have it hooked up here for the beacon. I have uh, the monitor up here on top here. Well, actually, the uh, computer uh, has become as much a part of the ham shack almost as as the rig almost uh, here in the shack. And I have got the monitor set in the top of the uh, the HF radios here. As you can see, the monitor is the top of that here in the ham shack for a, a lot of uh, things that I use uh, uh, use it for and uh, uh, we're going to be t uh, taking a look at that in a minute and uh, the, I have it interfaced with a uh, uh, with an audio interface it's a uh, what they call a simple audio computer to transmit Morse keyer it basically uses the uh, the audio from your uh, from your computer uh, from your computer to go into a little interface that keys the transmitter. It's a real simple thing to build. Uh, it's uh, the way I, I set it up here. I uh, I didn't want to uh, uh, to use too elaborate of an interface here for it. And we have that uh, little audio interface into the radio here to key it up. And now I'm going to go into a program here uh, on the computer that I use for uh, for CW. It's um, uh, the uh, the program that I'm using. This is CW Type V17T. Uh, 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 Morse code uh, transmits program for my beacon, and this is a very good program. You can use it uh, for. Uh, uh, for CW or for beacons or anything, it has a beacon mode in it, and it, this this program can be downloaded at www.pxsoft.com. That's pxsoft.com. You can get this program off of their uh, off of their uh, their website. Okay, we're going to to now uh, go into the the beacon mode here with. Uh, with the uh, the transmitter here, I'm going to to get it up and running here. Hopefully, <laughs> one of those days, uh, nothing uh, may not go right. Okay, I think I have the TX on. Okay, I'm going to hit the beacon here and see if it works. Okay, it is it is transmitting. It's transmitting first a series of V's. Then my QTH, it says I'm running 5 watts. Actually, I'm running 10, I believe. Uh, uh, I'm, it says I'm running 5 watts. And it also uh, requests uh, a QSL if somebody wants to QSL. And this is, is continuously sending out uh, these, uh, uh, 
these beacons of, of my call letters, uh, a series of these, my call letters, my QTH 5 watts and QSL please, that's basically what it's sending out non-stop. And uh, I'm going to cut the audio down on the, uh, on the HR2510 here and I'm going to turn another transmitter on here to monitor my signal. Okay, we have the other transmitter on and it's monitoring my signal. As you can hear, it is a clean signal that uh, that the uh, that President HR 2510 is putting out. It's putting out a very good uh, clear uh, CW signal. And also there's a series of E's on the end of that too before it goes back into the uh, the uh, series of E. Anyhow, let me uh, let me cut the audio down on that. Uh, of course, this uh, here is no interest to anybody but ham radio operators that uh, that know CW. <laughs> and the 10 meter band has been opened up pretty good here lately. I am transmitting on 28-260. I don't think I can get a get that in there close enough for that. Maybe I can. Yeah, I think it's showing it out on the monitor here. That's where we're transmitting that on the on the president. And I I thought this would be a pretty good experiment here for uh, for the uh, 10 meter CW beacons. I also enjoy talking on 10 meters too. Uh, it's a very good band to talk on when the band is open uh, up. I, I on top of that I have a, uh, a strictly a ASDN PC S2800 I use for 10 meter FM. There's a lot of repeaters there too when the band is open. It's a lot of fun to get on 10 meters and uh, and uh, and work phones, uh, FM, uh, CW, anything you want. But I thought the beacons would be uh, a good thing to experiment with, and that's basically what what uh, what I'm doing now. As you can see here, you can see the watt meter there. It's running about 10 watts. Uh, this camera don't do me too much justice. I'm going to check my SWRs. As you can see, the SWRs are flat. The needle ain't even moving. Uh, the SWRs are flat. And uh, we'll go back up to power here. and checks the power at about 10 watts. This is a Radio Shock SWR meter. And it has... Uh, uh, 20 watts, 250 watts, and 2,000 watts on it. And I have, of course, got a set of 20 watts. It's showing, uh, showing about 10 watts coming out of the uh, out of the transmitter right now. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this little tour around the shack here uh, of uh, of what I had here for the uh, for the 10 meter beacons. I think that little interface that I built here was is quite. Uh, uh, quite nice to interface the, the radio and computer together. It's just basically an, an audio output transformer, a switching transistor, and a miniature relay. You can get all the parts at Radio Shack for about uh, for about twenty dollars, and uh, it also has let's see three diodes in it, and uh, yeah, there's a capacitor there that's going to ground. Yeah. And one capacitor, and that's it. it uh, basically, all the parts you can get at Radio Shack for about $20. That includes the little miniature circuit board that you can get to put your, uh, put your components on. And uh, as you can see there, it's been quite a bit of text uh, transmitted out over there already. <laughs> over the beacon all there on 10 meters. And if you happen to hear uh, KA4 PNV, uh, uh, on 10 meters at uh, 28 uh, 260, uh, uh, drop me a QSL card and let me know uh, how my how my how my station is uh, is doing. There, it's uh, like I say, it's quite uh, it's uh, it's an experiment I'm trying here on 10 meters, and uh, and uh, we'll we'll see how it goes here. And um, appreciate you taking a look around the the shack here with us. And let's see here. Okay, and uh, we'll uh, let's see if I can get this to me. Okay, 
And there's the second trap bitter there that's receiving that signal. We'll cut this one down again. Okay, we're transmitting on this one here, and I'm monitoring my signal on this other uh, radio here to make sure that the CW signal is, is, is clean. I'm using the MFJ tuner on it, and I'm using a, a, uh, a super scanner uh, CB antenna that seems to be very good with uh, with uh, with 10 meters with with the tuner. It's uh, done a real good job. I've worked quite a few few uh, uh, stations here on 10 meters. I worked a station in Ireland there the other night. Like I say, the 10 meter band is is opened up pretty good now, and uh, you ought to get on it and, and try it. And I'll maybe set you up a beacon. Appreciate you taking a look around the shack here with me. As you can see, I have quite a bit of equipment in here, and uh, uh, we enjoy it uh, uh, immensely. And uh, like I say, the computer up there that I'm using has become a part of the ham shack here, almost as important as the, the rigs themselves here. And uh, we also use the, uh, the computer here on Echo, Echo Link and, uh, and CQ100. And uh, that's uh, uh, an addition to the shack here. And I thank you very much for taking a look around the shack here. We uh, enjoyed showing it to you. And, uh, and uh, I'll say 73 to all you uh, shortwave listeners and ham radio operators out there. And I do appreciate you taking a look around here with, with me today. 73s and... Uh, and, uh, and God bless you.